starting this little weekend in my life in the car with a Sephora haul because I just got out of there and then I also went to um, a little like record store because Taylor's birthday is tomorrow and I want to do something really special for her so we're gonna have a little picnic um, downtown and let me show you guys this before I show you the Sephora stuff I saw this thing on I think it was TikTok where like girls were making mood boards so I got all of these like cute little old magazines this one's a life magazine um it has paul from the beatles on it this one um and i figured we could go through these magazines and cut like up things that kind of inspire us and make our own little vision board that's like the idea at least um i just thought it would be cute like i don't know so we're gonna have a little picnic i have to go pick up the glue and stuff still um but i just got like covers that i thought looked interesting um and then i hope she likes them so yeah we're gonna go do that um i also got some with cars on them because these were just i don't know so cool i mean on the inside like they're just so neat like they have these old cars and stuff um so i thought it'd be fun and i like i don't know celebrating birthdays in like a unique way um i'm gonna turn on like some 70s music because i know she likes like 70s rock um and just like really make her feel special i have to go to walgreens and get a couple snacks um i'm gonna try to find some snacks she likes i feel like i know her really well because like we hang out all the time but my memory is so shot that it's hard to like remember like little details even though like i know what she likes like in my head i'm like okay i know that she likes this but i just like it's like i i know it but it's like oh the tip of my tongue type thing you know so um i'm gonna pull out my polaroid camera for the first time and take a couple polaroid pictures i think she'll really like it so we're gonna do that and then from sephora i picked up um this lip gloss um it's lip butter balm from summer fridays i love summer friday stuff and i've been wanting to get more of this for a while i've been out and what i like about this um lip balm is that it has kind of like an oil base so you feel like a really hydra like hydrated feel on your lips versus like making it feel dry like some lip stuff can do like it literally makes your lips feel drier almost i feel and then i got this um it's from the beauty insiders and it has tatcha's um rice wash which is a soft cream cleanser and then um the dewy skin cream so i'm gonna try these i'll let you guys know what i think never tried that before then i bought more lashes because when i was in taylor's wedding i realized that i literally don't have any left so i bought that I also got more of this way leave-in conditioner because this was um, part of the Beauty Insiders and I just, I spend so much money at Sephora that like you get these like little insider like deals if you spend money there. Um, pretty much they're giving you back your money in a small way. So I got this, which is funny because I literally just spent $28 on this the other day. And then I got this Merit. Um, I bought this because I've been looking for a tinted lip oil and I bought this from Merit. Um, and this is what it looks like. I really like this color. And the color is ombre pomade. And I just thought that it was so nice. Like such a nice color. Let me put on my lips now. And it just tints your lip just ever so slightly. I mean, it looks so nice. So I just put on... Um, lip gloss right before i started talking and so like you probably i don't know maybe thought my lips were a little bit more red or like more pinky because of the lip gloss but this i feel like makes it look so good oh my gosh so it's gonna tint to this color after the gloss is gone which i love i think it's so natural um it doesn't look like lipstick or anything it just literally looks like just a like nice pink lip so i like that versus looking i just like woke up or something and like i have a dry lip so yeah, that's what I got from Sephora. Now I'm gonna go um, to Walgreens. I gotta pick up some glue, some scissors, and then we'll go home, let Bane out, and then go on a little picnic. I swear the last time that I bought um, any glue was forever ago. I think I'm gonna get the clear kind, and I think I'm gonna get two just so we can both like use it at the same time. I'm gonna get some gemstones. I think these will be so cute on there. Let's see what else we can throw in here. I don't know if I want to get poster board or if I want to get like a canvas. I'm gonna see if they have a canvas around here. This Amazon order just came in. 
just came in and thankfully I already know what it is. It's Olipop and it's actually perfect timing because I wanted to put some of these in the baskets. I'm gonna fill up the baskets right now. I have about 10 minutes, but it will be enough time because um, I literally just bought everything that I want. So I got the orange cream flavor. This is my favorite flavor. So I'm gonna put one of those in there. And I try to remember some of Taylor's favorite snacks. I'm pretty sure she really likes the like Takis. These, um, so I got this for her. I have a little basket for myself. I also got a popcorn. Um, she has like picked up popcorn a couple times. She also likes cookie dough. We talked about this. Uh, I remember her talking about how like the movie she always loves getting that. Um, and then I got us each these Balance Breaks cheese and crackers. And then this one has um, almonds, dried cranberries, and white cheddar cheese. So I got one of those for each. So I'm gonna put um, the almonds and stuff in here with the cheese in mine, and then crackers in hers. And then I got a 100 grand for myself. And then um, I'm also gonna put the supplies in here. So I got a pair of scissors, green one for me, red for her. Um, then I got some glue, glue sticks. I'm gonna open this up because um, we're both gonna, oh shoot, my nail just fell off. Yikes, I that fell off in there. Um, but we're both gonna need one of these. Let me put this glue back on. Let me actually put these baskets um, together and I'll show you guys what I put together once I'm done. The baskets are packed and I have lots of goodies in there. Pretty much the only thing that I added in here is my, um, whoa, that popped open. A uh, Polaroid camera that my niece got me for my birthday and um, I added a couple more snacks in there. I also added a charger because um, I am gonna put a little speaker system in here um, And yeah, that's pretty much it. I added these gemstones I don't know if I showed you guys those and a card that has a hundred and fifty dollar gift card to uh, Spavia so she can go get a little spa day. I added these little purple hearts and some glue yeah, um, I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff in my car. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way, don't know what you do. like 
the era, but I don't really know anything about cars either. So we're just gonna go look at them. I think they have like food trucks down there. Um, and then they also have, uh, I think live music too. So it should be really fun. Um, I've never been before, but I think Springfield has, I think one of the largest um, like car um, museums. It's called, um, motorhead something and anyway I'm explaining it terribly but we're gonna go down there and just enjoy the cars and stuff and then after that I'm gonna come back and get ready um, and we're gonna go get drinks with a friend and then come back and just like chill it's a pretty relaxed Saturday um, this is one of our few Saturdays that we don't have a wedding uh, next weekend we have a wedding weekend after that we have a wedding weekend after that we 30th birthday and then the weekend after that is a free weekend and then the weekend after that we have a wedding so let's head downtown and enjoy um just a relaxing weekend i think that this is the farthest that i have had to park to go to an event downtown because usually like there aren't that many people here but as we were driving um i can just see like a sea of people that are looking at these cars. So this obviously has to be a big deal. I'm really glad that we decided to come down. We almost didn't. Um, at least I almost didn't. And then uh, I just decided, I was like, well, if there's something going on in town, I should probably go. So I'm glad that um, we're going. I'm wearing this top from um, uh, I think Abercrombie. And my shorts are from Abercrombie as well. Wow, full fit. I'll link it if I can find everything. Um, and then I'm wearing shoes from Lulu, or I think, no, Saks. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. At some point, I want to buy one of these suckers. They're so cute. You want to uh, cross the street? Yeah, let's cross the street here. Um, I definitely want to buy one because I feel like it would be such a vibe. Like, especially in Springfield, because there aren't that many, like, I don't know. I don't want to say places to go because there's definitely places to go, but you, there isn't a ton you'd actually be driving like really far. Um, I mean, the farthest I'd probably drive in it would be like maybe 40 minutes, so I think it would be nice. And I would just like drive in the summer, and I don't know, it would be so cute. I'm gonna put in a picture of um, the one that I like the most. There were some other ones that were really close to like how much I like that one, but I think that that one was still my like all time favorite one. So I'll link that. Will you hold that for a second? Thank you. We uh, are getting ready to go back and shower. I'm, so sweaty this morning it was 54 degrees i'll hold it if you need it it was 54 degrees this morning and oh there's another truck and now it's like 77 degrees and later on tonight it's probably gonna be cold again so i feel like this is the time where in the morning you dress in sweatpants and in the afternoon you dress in shorts and a tank top and the evening you're back in like sweatpants again we're gonna head back, shower, and then head to dinner. I'm trying to figure out what purse I should wear and I literally cannot figure it out. I'm wearing this top from Boyd, which is actually one of my favorites. You guys know I'm a 36D and it's literally impossible for me to find tops where I don't have to wear a bra that are open back. It just has a good amount of like support in it. I can't even explain it. It's double line, so there's like, like a little thing under here and there's like a little elastic thing that kind of like I don't know, keeps, it just keeps you in. So I never, I went dancing and stuff in this. feels so comfortable. I'm wearing these um, little jeans that I got from Francesca's. Um, they're really big and baggy, which I think I showed you guys these a while back. I'll take you guys over here so you can see a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna step all the way back so you guys can see, because I want you guys to get like the full effect of the full outfit. So the bottom is really baggy, and I think when you have something that's really baggy on the bottom, 
it's cute to keep it really tight on top. Um, these pants are actually from Francesca's along with my heels. I showed you guys these whenever I was in, um, I think Chicago, I wore these. Super cute, really affordable. I have a code for those along with these pants. I did size up to a size 11, so I wouldn't say they fit true to size at all, but they're super baggy on the bottom, which is what I wanted. Now I'm trying to figure out my bag. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little closer so you guys can see. Okay, so for the bag, I can't decide if I wanna do my regular bag from Just Fab, my Chanel bag, or YSL. I'm thinking I want to do the YSL because the Chanel is like a beige tone and I'm only wearing like white. And this is cute, but I don't really, I don't know. I don't know if I want to have like a shoulder bag. I don't know. What do you guys think? Long bag, shoulder bag. I think that the short shoulder bag like makes me really top heavy. I don't know what it is. I just am not feeling the one from Just Fab. So I think I'm going to do the long bag, I try a lot of like bags and shoes um, and like variations and stuff together because I feel like just small details can totally change an outfit. And this is the full fit. Um, I will link these shoes and I'll link these pants. Like I said, I got them in a size 11. I wear between a six and an eight. I'd say more on the eight side right now, um, but I don't have any pants or anything. I literally just went to Aritzia and I got a skirt that was a size eight and it fit perfectly. I went, um, on Saturday so that is my true size but with jeans and denim sometimes you just have to move around the clothes a bit and these fit perfectly so I will link them see you guys at dinner because I am getting ready to go do um, more work, but I just like need to get out of the house and I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna go. And I was like, oh, like I'll go to Custom Cup because it's one of my favorite coffee shops. And I was like, no, it's literally just there. Let's like, go somewhere else. And so then I was like, oh, I'll go to Papo's. And I also always go there, but I love both those places so much. They just have such good workspaces. So I think I'm gonna go to Papo's because I went to Custom Cup more recently. Oh, but Custom Cup has a nice, outdoor area that's next door mm, i might have to go there there's very few places or very few days left where i can actually go and enjoy being outside um because right now the weather is 64 degrees literally 64 degrees and it's getting colder and colder by the day so um i don't know I think I want to go sit outside for a bit, but let me show you guys my full fit. I'm wearing a full fit again from Francesca's because one, these jeans are just too good to like not wear. They're really comfortable. I think what the reason I like them so much is because they don't like sit too like tight around your waist. They're just really comfortable. Um, and I love how baggy they are at the bottom. So I'm wearing them again, but just like with a chill outfit. This tank top is from Francesca's too. Um, I think it's a really nice tank top to wear like during this transitional season where it's not quite cold, but it's not quite like hot, you know? Um, I also got this cardigan from them, which is so nice. And it has this little detail here um, that I just think is so cool because it makes it again, easy to wear if it gets hot or if it's cold, so it's not really a big deal. And then I'm wearing these slides because I will wear slides until I die. Those are also from Francesca's and I have a code, it's Shaughnessy10 if you guys want 10% off. So I will um, link everything below so you guys can pick up the full outfit. But I really like this outfit. I think it's might be one of my favorites because it's just really effortless, has a little hoodie on the back, so it still is like that comfy, cozy vibe. Um, and this is Fuchsia Shop, so this is the only thing that's not Francesca's, but I like it. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Okay, let's get out of here and uh, head to one of these little coffee shops. I ended up getting a cookie and I got Sorry if you guys hear the train. I got this Neapolitan cookie and it has three different flavors. It has chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. So good. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We 
stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know where all I'm gonna do a little grocery haul now that I'm back home And I also got a package in So I'm gonna open this package um, This is from Skin Which I worked with them this year But I've been using their products since um, Like for like two years so it was actually really exciting to work with them because just because you use a brand's products does not mean that you'll get to have the opportunity to work with them. It's just like, I don't know, really cool when I like fall in love with a brand's pieces and they're like, yeah, we'd like love to work with you and all that good stuff. It just feels really surreal. Um, so it's not always guaranteed, but when it happens, it's really nice. And they, sent this package, which I'm pretty sure I already know what it is, um, cause I've been waiting on it. I love all their products. Skin, um, they actually are the only, um, makeup remover, like, serum that I use. Um, cause it works so well. And I actually have a code, shanti 30 that I think still works so you can get 30% off. Um, so yeah, let's see what's in this box. Exciting. I love like opening literally anything. And oh yes! Oh my gosh. First they sent um this little note. It says, Shaughnessy, I can't wait for you to try this richly pigmented yet buildable creamy eyeshadow. Super easy to blend out, and these shades are perfect for every day. Hope you love them. And then they also sent this little um like little applicator like direction thing. I love when they send this so that you can like have a better idea of like what works best on um, maybe your eyelid. They sent a ton of these. These are so cool. Um, there's three of them. There's plum and espresso, linen, and rose. This is so cool. Firming longwear eyeshadow. And this is what it looks like on the front. I think that's so pretty. Like I said, this is the only brand whose makeup um, remover that I use. And then they also sent a little bag, which I need one of these so bad. So these, these are definitely going to be put to use. And it says skin on the front. Also, I'm going to show you guys. Oh, uh, these are all the different colors, and they sent the applicator too. They sent a bunch of different colors, all four of them. So I'll try these and let you guys know what I think. But like I said, their products are incredible. They're the only makeup remover that I use and I do not play about my makeup remover. Like it has to work. Um, a little grocery haul that I have. I just got some pizzas for tonight because tonight is Bachelor in Paradise that comes on and I love watching um, Bachelor with the girls. Also got some salsa from Harvest Market and then um, I got this Pico de Gallo. I also got the flowers outside that I think I showed you. I'll show you in a second because I think I'm going to go sit outside for a bit. Um, but those were only $7.99, which is literally insane. I also got this Bolt House Farms vanilla chai. I actually haven't been able to make iced chai or like coffee or anything, which is the coffee part is fine because it doesn't, I don't really drink coffee that much anymore, but I do miss making my chai. Um, and technically I could make chai, I just can't make anything ice right now because our ice maker is broken because if you guys have been following the vlogs, you guys know that one of the workers literally pulled one of our, um, pipes and just like busted it and didn't tell us or anything, which flooded far downstairs. Um, so now we have to get some more, um, another like pipe to get the ice maker like fixed. And we also, or I also got this creamy feta. I love getting feta cheese to put it inside of um, summer salads, which I don't know what to call a summer salad that's not in the summer. Um, I also got some 
kombucha. I got the watermelon wonder. It has nine billion living probiotics in it, and it's supposed to be like really good for you, but I I can't get into it. Um, it's very hard for me to get into. So I didn't actually buy this for myself. I bought this for Taylor because she's coming over tonight and she likes to drink kombucha in a wine glass. And we also got, or I also got, I think it's we, it's literally me, um, these uh, cookie dough chocolate chip uh, cookies. I love the cookies that say eat or bake that are like safe to eat raw because I freaking love raw cookie dough. Then I also got some Skittles. These are some of my favorite candies and Brady like always gets on me because he's like Skittles are the worst, but I like Skittles. I think they're good. Comment below your favorite candy, candy and if you think Skittles is like a bad candy choice, but I think they're good. Um, let's go outside and have a little like reading picnic time. I need to like get some relaxation. I feel like I haven't in a bit um, before the girls come over. These are the moms that I was showing you guys. I'm gonna try to stand them up or at least lean them against this so that they don't get really like smashed but um these were only seven dollars and they're huge I'm so glad i got them one broke but they are definitely really grown out and like you can see um, so this is my actual real nail and they're really long and they're pretty strong too um, but I think I'm gonna cut them down and just get like maybe a fall color or something um, I have a wedding this weekend and uh, I think I'm gonna end the vlog off today but I need to do some grocery shopping I need to get my eyebrows done I already showered this morning and washed my hair and twisted it and that's like a whole process to get it to look like exactly the way I want it to for Saturday. I always have to like think a couple days in advance, which I feel like every in woman kind of does. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and get my nails done, get my eyebrows done, stock the fridge, I got to clean out the fridge and just do some like really stuff that I probably need to do or would normally do on like a Saturday but I have to do it today because um, Saturday we have that wedding and then I have my friend Alex coming in town and I'm probably gonna end the vlog off today and then the weekend I'll do like a whole vlog for Friday Saturday and maybe Sunday maybe not Sunday but yeah gonna be just a busy day running errands um, and hopefully getting a lot done I'm so behind on laundry it's literally insane um, I am like probably 20 loads behind, so hopefully I can catch up on that too. out the fridge but since I do Instacart a lot usually I'll clean out the fridge as the order's on its way but I couldn't do that this time because I went to the store and I will say so the store was way cheaper and I didn't know that Instacart like charges you extra they don't really charge you for like an extra service fee but the food prices I think are like higher or something because I bought pretty much the same thing that I always get and then some and it was like a hundred dollars cheaper than what I normally spend at Aldi um, then I ended up going to County Market and getting a couple things that they only have at County Market and they don't have at Aldi because Aldi doesn't have like name brand stuff like they had some yo clay yogurt that I wanted um, some meat I like to get from uh, County Market you know I just certain things I wanted to get from there 
and I ended up spending like $70 at County Market just on like literally like six things. So I mean, I guess it goes to show that Aldi has incredible prices, but also um, I didn't know that it kind of like charges you more if you get it from Instacart. So there's that, but I will say this has taken like my entire day and I used to grocery shop in the store all the time and I stopped in 2020 and I haven't done it in a minute. I did like a video for you guys with like a grocery shop with me video. Um, but I haven't done like a full, full restock type thing in a while. And this one was a full restock and holy cow, it takes not only so long, but it's just like mentally draining almost. Cause you're like trying to think of like the meals and like all that stuff. Cause I buy my items based on the meals I'm going to buy or the meals I'm going to make. So it makes it really easy whenever I go to cook something, I already have all the ingredients I need. So anyway, get home with the groceries and I haven't put them away yet. They're literally just sitting on the floor because I was like, oh, I gotta clean out the fridge. So I cleaned out the fridge and I took all the Tupperware from the um, refrigerator and put it in the sink. My sink was already like halfway full. So then that made the sink like really full. And I was like, oh shoot, I better get a uh, uh, load going of dishes because I don't wanna have any dishes in the sink when I go to bed. So I started a load of dishes and then I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> I'm literally like mid dishes. I'm like, oh shoot, I should probably go start a load of laundry because by the time I get done with these dishes and loading the dishwasher, the laundry is probably gonna be done. And so then I can like go and fold the laundry. So then I stopped and left the sink full of dishes, went downstairs and I saw that there were clothes in the dryer. So I brought the clothes out from the dryer <laughs> And I put them on the bed and I started a load of laundry. And so now I'm folding the laundry and I did end up cleaning out the fridge, but I'm folding the laundry. And if you walked through my house, you would just see like, like open cabinets and like a sink that's like halfway empty and the dishwasher's halfway open still. There's food on the counter. Like, so I still have to like obviously put everything away, but it's just funny how my brain works because by the time I get done with this load, I'll probably be able to go put in the rest of the dishes in the dishwasher. Then once I get done with this, the load of laundry is probably gonna be ready to be switched over. So I'll switch it over. <laughs> the food's probably still gonna be sitting. And it's just funny how my brain works. But if I had did it the other way, I would have gotten done with the dishes and then I'd be like, oh, I need to do a load of laundry and then I'd switch it over and fold it and then I would just kind of have like a waiting period. So this makes it where it all like lines up where I want it to be because I want to get a couple loads done. I was, I'm looking in my closet right now. I have so many loads that I still need to do. And we've been so behind on laundry. And I think I figured out why. Brady told me the other day that you, I guess, have to push this button that starts the spin cycle on our washer. I didn't know that. We've been living here for a year. I had no idea that you had even had to do that. And I think that this is honestly the washer from our old house. So like, I always wondered why, like after I wash everything, everything seemed so wet still. Like it wasn't like sopping wet, but it still seemed pretty wet. And the other day he's like, oh yeah, like I don't know if I told you this, but like you have to push the button, the, the spin cycle button. And I do like almost probably 70% of our, our laundry. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, like you gotta push the button. And I like noticed the other day that like it's never on the spin cycle when something's done. And I was like, oh my God, I've been washing clothes and no wonder they take 10 years to dry. I always have to like dry stuff over and over again. So I did my first load and like push the spin cycle button and literally guys, I swear it's gonna be like dry so fast. So um, done folding, I'm gonna put this up and then I'll go give you my little grocery haul. This is everything that I picked up um, from Aldi. This was all $177, I got this container of uh, vanilla chai that's so good from Bolt House Farms. Lots of fruit for breakfast bowls. Um, I got Raisin Bran. I also got another cereal. Um, we haven't had cereal in a while, but I feel like I've been missing out on breakfast and I need to start eating breakfast every day. Also got these little uh, protein granola bars. I got some almond butter, which this is nice for my breakfast bowls. And yeah, lots of goodies. So I'm gonna put this away in the refrigerator and um, we get a little bit more organized. Just put everything in the fridge and I love how it turned out. Um, I just put 
One of the little containers up here with the apples, because Brady never eats the apples, but he does eat stuff if he can like see it. So I put it out so he can just like grab one and have it as a snack. I also put the oranges out because he loves the little oranges, but he never thinks to grab them. There's tomatoes back there, peppers. Um, I have some onions, some salsa, and then underneath that is feta cheese, which I might actually move because I feel like I might forget about it. It's like at the bottom. I have these dried blueberries, which I haven't opened. They're from my last order. Um, and then I put out the cilantro because it always goes bad because it's always shoved up in a plastic bag. Lots of fruit down on this um, little area and I also love these. I think I'm gonna get more of them. Um, and then have some veggies down there and some spinach, yogurt, cheese, and then some tortilla um, like wrap things. Now this is the only thing that's like actually in a container and I wish they could put it out because I feel like this goes bad so fast. But then there's potatoes, onions, cheese, and that's pretty much um, the full fridge. I did end up getting a package while I was gone. It's right here, but I'm actually gonna wait to open it till my next vlog because it's a bunch of wedding guest dresses. So that's gonna be the next vlog. You guys will see a ton of um like wedding guest dresses and things to wear to a wedding um because i have a wedding this weekend and next weekend and then we have another one in november and i just like wanted to get some more dresses so um i ordered that and then i um sent it express because i wanted it to be here by this weekend so be on the lookout for a little like try on i'm gonna try everything on and then you guys can help me pick out what i should wear close out the vlog but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i love doing like little just daily vlogs kind of like this that are just like every day um nothing too crazy and i hope you guys also enjoy them too and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys